All right, we're gonna do a quick repair of the washing machine. As you can see, this agitator spins both ways, which is not supposed to do. So we're gonna repair that. That really needs cleaned. We'll take that off. And if we look in here, there is a little cap. You're just gonna reach down and pull that out. And in this case, we're gonna have to replace the basically the seal that goes around that, that has snapped. So as you can see down here, you can maybe see the teeth that should be going around. And then on four points here, these little agitator dogs are supposed to catch to stop it from spinning around. So it will only spin in that direction and when it tries to, it hooks in. But in this case, teeth are worn out. We've got to get down, there's an 11 mil bolt right there. So we're going to utilize an 11 mil socket and an extension bar to get down there because it is a bit of a reach. So depending on what you have around will depend on how you do this. I'm just going to use that and a regular socket wrench. So with that loosened, we're just going to pull that completely out and it should come completely clean from the base. So you're just going to put your foot on the base and you're going to pop that completely off. So it should separate completely. As you can see, Check the pieces while you're here. See how they look. And anything that needs replaced, replace it. So with this top part, we're just gonna reach our hand in. We're gonna flip it upside down and take the contents out. So the agitator dog is completely worn out. We're just gonna slide this piece off. And as you can see, the agitator dogs just simply clip in there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace all four. This will cost you about a dollar off Amazon, ultimately. So, so it's these little four pieces here that are causing the issue. And essentially, for about a buck, you're going to fix your washing machine. Much cheaper than a repair guy. You just take the agitator dogs, put them in those slots, make sure that they're facing that direction so when they come out that they will get the binding lock that they need. So you got to place all four in there. You can't just flip them upside down. That will not work well. It's there and you'll notice that these little inside grooves fit into the grooves on top. Just slides down and there you go. All reassembled, perfect. So we're basically going to take this and put this in here. Make sure that your agitator dogs are obviously on the same side as where the teeth are, otherwise it's going to do nothing. So basically we're going to flip this completely over, feed the dogs, and then we're going to replace it on top. So you slide it back on top, place it down, and you should notice that when it turns now, It'll spin the one, but not the other. So once we've slid it back in there, you'll notice the whole unit will not spin. It locks in there, which is good. So it's just a matter of tightening down the bolt now. I have to use two hands here, or it's gonna spin a bit. So we're just gonna put a new seal on the top here. As you can see, the other one was worn out, broken. It's quick, very, very quick. And that essentially slides back in the top. So place that in nice and sealed. Put that back on top and it's done.